All right, guys, so I was not going to make this video because upon making this video, um, it's more than likely, move my mic over here, that uh, I'm probably just gonna be completely permaban. So there's a lot of fluff about me being a narcissist, me being a liar. Um, I recently watched Nephesis' terrible react video about uh, my charity stream and how it's a big deal and you know, being narcissistic, yeah, you know, whatever. Um, so the reason I'm making this is to prove to you guys, like, beyond shadow of a doubt how serious behind the scenes things are i've not talked about this because i can't technically talk about any of this because i said i wouldn't um so i had a hour and a half long conversation with boyd beasley who is the senior director of customer support at ben uh at bethesda and cinemax and he was accompanying by uh, Terry White, who is their legal rep of like 20 years or whatever. Like one of the best legal reps out there. And the reason I had this call is to discuss why I was banned, why I was unbanned, and how I should act going forward. Now, I was specifically asked to vet this conversation to Terry White as well as Boy Beasley before making this video, but um, I don't feel that is the correct way to go about it. And I'm going to share some audio clips from that conversation. I'm in Indiana. We both agreed to have the conversation recorded, and this is going to be for educational purposes and to clear up any discrepancies you guys may have about me, how I'm quote unquote a narcissistic, I'm delusional. Um, I don't talk about this stuff is because I literally can't because my I will be perma banned. That's that's what it is. I can't even hint about it. I can't even use the word exploit or bug anymore, right? So, um, long story short, I'm going to go ahead and show you an audio clip on why I was banned. We're going to kind of reverse it, talk about it, and there's a few other audio clips that I would like to share with you. I can't share too much because again, this is an hour and a half long conversation. I have a, uh, as a private video on my YouTube, and in the event that I do get banned, I'll probably just go ahead and, you know, for, for, for giggles, just to go ahead and um, release the, the video somehow, somewhere, not on YouTube or, you know, any social platform, but I will make it uh, available just so you guys can see for yourself how messed up the situation is, how messed up Bethesda, Zenimax, like, like how, how sad the gaming industry has really devolved and I was able to pretty much climb as high as I could talk to the highest branch that I possibly could kind of behind the scenes talk about narcissism this guy talked for an hour and a half you know belittling me cussing at me telling me that I need to behave a certain way he can ban me for whatever reason he wanted to he's been writing TOS for the past 25 years and we even discussed some points about um, what's called quote unquote burning a customer uh, there's a, there's a lot of things um, i'm going to discuss in this video but uh, what i really want to set home is uh, the beginning audio clip here of uh, showing you guys i'm being targeted by the development team even though i'm doing absolutely nothing wrong and everyone thinks it's for bugs and exploits it's not it's literally for speaking my mind it is bringing you know some bugs to the attention uh, l let me go for a little bit of a tangent before i, I, I share the clips with you though so there's, if you follow Destiny, there's a dude called Cheese Forever. His entire YouTube channel is bugs and exploits just for Destiny. And they appreciate him bringing all these bugs and exploits to light because that gives the devs some insight in how to fix the bugs and, you know, yada yada. Um, as a content creator, you know, as an ESO veteran, you know, I do think it is important to bring certain attention to certain bugs in a very productive way. And since things kind of get overlooked on the forums and the FAQs and stuff like that, um, I feel that is my position to bring some of these bugs to light. There's nothing game breaking. You know, it's not like duping bugs, like breaking the economy. It's not like a one shot bug. It's not like, you know, we're DDoSing or, or shelling anyone or, you know, you know we're, we're not doing anything like that. We're simply using whatever mechanics are in the game. No third party software, just some interesting interactions. You know, there's not really bugs or exploits. It's just like unattended interactions is how I like to refer to it. But my point is, you know, Cheese Forever, he does all these bugs and exploits, he gets praised for it. And then I even mention them, and it's like, oh, break terms of service, permaban, just because people don't like me and they have like a stereotype about me. Uh, that's fine. Um, I've accused people of subbotting in the past, I've accused people of viewbotting, which if you are embedding your twi Twitch streams, that's pretty much viewbotting. You know, I'm not going to toss out names because I was told not to shell out any names toward anyone. You know, some people doing specific React content to act completely clueless and they, they try to 
you know, degradate gate me and, and, and just put me down wherever they can because they think they're cute or superior. Like, you guys don't know anything going on behind the scenes. You really don't. So I'm going to go ahead and play this audio clip, and uh, I really hope you guys enjoy. Hello. Infamous. That, that's that's a strong word. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. We have members of our studio development team that think you should be banned. Period. Senior people at our studio think you should be banned. Studio people were calling me to find out why I gave someone like you, who is a known bad apple, who they requested to be banned, six months of free ESO plus time. So what you just heard uh, in, in a few audio clips there, none of this was taken out of context, by the way. You know, none of this was edited. Um, what, what you heard was the studio development team requesting me to be banned, even though I did nothing wrong. All of this arose from a past live stream I did where I used the term exploit in the title. And what had happened is that the, the, the live stream got reported. It wasn't the video. I actually mistaken and said video. I w it wasn't clear to me until this conversation why this was even brought to uh, anyone's attention. So um, essentially it was like mass reported or whatever. I wasn't wrong about that, but what I was wrong about is why I got banned specifically. So um, it got reported. It went to the, you know, TOS. I violated code of conduct. I have a squeaky clean record. You know, I haven't done anything. Uh, I will never do anything. I will never endorse doing anything to intentionally break TOS. I'm only simply just trying to edu educate people about, you know, th items in the ESO, what to watch out for, you know, to make sure everyone is on the same playing field and you have the same competitive advantage as anyone else who watches my content, right? So essentially this came across as uh, some senior dev. I mean, there's only like five that I know of, you know, you got, you, you got Rich Lambert, Jessica Folsom, uh, Gina Bruno, Gilliam, and I, I'm sure there's a handful of other people, but what had happened, even though I've done nothing wrong, Literally nothing wrong. And you know, I've showed you guys the emails in the past. So prove it, I may actually pop up here on the screen. Um, I wasn't trying to exploit or anything like that. Because it was attached to my name, they requested, as you heard in the audio clip, for me to be banned. Without fact-checking, without doing their due diligence, straight up, it's Horcrux, ban him, get him out of here. And what, what happened? No, no repercussions happened to, to that whoever that member of the development team was. I mean, that's a fact. Again, I have the whole hour and a half conversation uploaded on YouTube and the event that I do get permaban after making this video. You guys can hear it all. I'll let this dude talk for like an hour and a half. You know, I sucked at his teeth, let his narcissistic, narcissistic tendencies take over and just let the dude talk for an hour and a half, you know. But uh, so there's there's that clip and what had happened. I'll, I'll, I'll explain the process um, of what happened. So I, I made an appeal and did that on stream. Um, it got denied immediately whatever so i replied to the same email chain you know i want an actual person to speak with eventually i got through to the uh the top dog uh, not not beasley or whatever but like a customer support i'm not gonna say his name because i want to dox him or whatever but essentially he reviewed the content and not only did he determine that i wasn't using any bugs or exploits you know he actually you know re re rewarded me for you know the inconvenience um, I misspoke and said six months. It was actually, he gave me two months of ESO plus as well as 3,300 crowns, you know, which come with that. So I did misspeak there. Um, th that's my bad. Um, I thought it was six months because like the email chain was like duplicated and the, the chain was really weird and that it was, it, it was weird. Um, but it was only two months, you know, they reverted my ban and everything was, was all copacetic, you know, you know, no harm, no foul. This happens, you know? So to my understanding at that point, it was with the information that I had available, it was what I said it was, it was people mass reported the video, it got flagged, I got banned, and people actually took a look at it, realized I wasn't actually doing anything nefarious, and, you know, they, they unbanned me. You know, no harm, no foul. Five days later is when I got this phone call. So what has happened, I made a video explaining how the devs actually helped me out of the fire on this one, but in reality, they're the ones who put me in that situation to begin with. You, shame on you. Shame on you. Like abuse, like just a complete abuse of power to get rid of someone that has it has really done nothing but promote this game. Yeah, I I talk crap about the devs all the time. It's not easy being a developer. I get it. I have people who work at Blizzard. You know, two friends. They, they tell me on time. It ain't easy. But at the same time, you can't treat your community like this. So five days later is when uh, I got another email from Terry White, who is their legal representative. 
and he asked if I could schedule a phone conversation and boy Beasley. Uh, he didn't tell me who it was going to be. It was going to be him and we. He said we. Come to find out, it, it, it is boy Beasley. So kind of the TLDR um, of the uh, of the conversation went that there, there was a bunch of false allegations, and we briefly discussed the TOS, what the exploit meant, you know, what what what, what bugs are, and he was kind of giving me the runaround. You know, I had some questions about the TOS, which never really got answered, because I, I tried I, I tried to ask him what. Uh, what, what, what exactly his definition of exploit is because it's it's not explicit in the TOS exactly what a quote unquote exploit is. When I hear exploit, you know, from an engineering technology background, I immediately assume it's like some sort of like third party software. You know what I mean? Uh, but no, his his official definition, who wrote the TOS, his official definition of exploit is an accidental occurrence in the game. But that 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 doesn't tell me anything. So I knew that was going to be a dead end. I knew I would be, end up beating a dead horse if I tried to have any rebuttals. So again, I just let him talk. I tried to figure out what information I could. So uh, there's there's a lot of idle threats, which I, I think might be um, coming to fruition pretty soon about me me being permanently banned uh, upon releasing this video. But I wouldn't even be doing this if some React content wasn't so poorly done and misrepresented me so bad that I have to talk about this. So. Um, if, if you guys may or may not know that uh, there's a charity event that went on, we helped raise you know, like a total of seventy six hundred dollars or whatever for the uh, the New Kids uh, Hungry Foundation. Uh, the whole point of that was to show you guys that I am being targeted, and no one really believes that until now, right? Until now, I have definite proof of everything that's been going on behind the scenes. It's not a con conspiracy. I'm not delusional. This is actually happening, and to be honest, it's frightening. Okay. So if you guys haven't seen that video, uh, go check it out on my YouTube channel. I explain it much more in depth. But um, um, he went on to explain some other concepts uh, which they would do, more threats, uh, quote unquote, calling um, called firing a customer at which, since they have been ascertained by Microsoft, what they'll do, not only will they permaban me if I continue down my road and I keep making videos about uh, bugs and exploits and talking crap about the devs, you know, calling a spade a spade, um, not only will they permaban me, but they will submit the report to Microsoft to have me, quote unquote, fired as a customer. And what that means is any Microsoft game, any any game that they kind of have their hand in, which is pretty much everything, you know, Xbox, you know, Game Studios, you know, Microsoft, um, they will co completely permaban me from those games as well. So um, that was a very interesting concept. You know, like, like I get it, man. I get it. Like, you're, you're very serious about these bugs. And I'm going to let this next audio clip play out. And his justification, you know, again, for this call was um, some of the bugs and exploits that I've talked about are supposedly used and botting and nefarious purposes. So uh, take a listen. It is a daily battle. And what we figured out is they're using your content to be more effective. So what you just heard, um, I, I don't believe this statement is true. I just think he's blowing smoke up my tushy. Uh, on this one is essentially um people are using you know my content to help build bots and stuff i i, I don't really understand that i'm not a de dev i don't really cover anything game breaking just some unattended you know, interactions of the game you know some features quote unquote of the game and it, it, it just it strikes me very weird that um someone like this would would, would have this conversation with me to kind of like threaten me to get me to fall in line and to not talk about anything, just be a good little boy and just get back out there and, you know, help promoting the game. But you know what, guys, you know, screw that. I'm, I'm at the point in my life that, you know, my professional career has taken off. Like this has been like a nice little passion project um, on the side, but I, I, I think there needs to be some transparency and I, I really hope this, this video finds you guys well and you can kind of give me the the benefit of the doubt here the the, the past year i know there's a lot of people i kind of rubbed the wrong way and you guys you know have this this narrative about me and you, you had these impressions of me in reality guys i just want the game to be better i want the devs to be more you know interactive uh, in our community and to, to help everyone out instead of doing what they're doing to me like if I was like an up and coming content creator where I wanted to take, you know, content creation, you know, and try, you know, make that in, into, you know, like a dream job. You know, this is a lot of people's dream job if they can do this, you know, make money, live and doing it. Like this is so discouraging. The fact that 
the, the your the own game that you're supporting and, and and that you're playing that you have for the nine years that they just want to crap on you and you know and get you out of the game it it, it it's just leave, leaves a really bad taste in my mouth and um it's just it, it's just dirty dude you know what i mean like the, the devs are doing your boy horcrux dirty and um, I just want you you guys to know, like that I, I care about you, I care about the community, but at the same time, like stuff like this needs to be said. I did my part, right? I told you guys I would do my part. And also the winners of the charity event, at the top of my head, I've emailed them several times about you guys getting your stuff that you've earned, you know, the 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 five giveaways I gave you. They still haven't emailed me back. So I don't know if you guys are gonna get that. So they cheated you, you know, out of that as well. So so it's like there's so much biasism and, and there, there's so much just 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 like how can you like how am I living rent free in the devs heads dude like if you're letting one little PvP content creator like make you lose sleep at night have you in such a ruckus causing so much hassle in, in, in your studio like maybe you need a different dev team maybe your dev team is actually incompetent to do their job and had of this this is just speculation, of course. Had you guys not unionized, I think Microsoft would have pruned every single one of you. My own personal opinion. No facts have backed that up, but you guys are smart about unionizing because if they get rid of one of you, they got to get rid of all of you. There's obviously some bad apples in the bunch. You can't prune the one without pruning them all, so good call on your part. And when it comes to repercussions for the dev team abusing their power and, and abusing the relations to personally banning me, you know, no repercussions don't want to come of that. There was a point in the conversation that uh, they said they were going to restructure their report system because of my case, because, you know, this this should, this type of stuff should never happen. So um, that's really good on them. And uh, if you guys are like going forward and you're doing content creation, don't use the term bugger exploit. Uh, Boy Beasley made it very clear that they are going to be making a really hard stance with that, you know, data protection, you know, whatever with their game. I don't understand stuff on the back end. Apparently, when you share bugs and exploits, it gives like other gaming companies like insight on how their their coding works. I I don't know. It's all proprietary. I, I I really don't care to know if your game wasn't coded so badly and you would stop firing your dev team or well, excuse me your your software engineers. You would stop thinning out the herd and making like certain individuals work super hard and like a skeleton crew to keep this game going. If you would actually provide more support to your development team you know, maybe the game would run smoother, you know, and instead of milking ESO as the cash cow as it is for like other, other endeavors like Starfield, which is a complete flop of a game. So I really hope whatever game, you know, going forward, I, I really hope it works out. And, but anyway, yeah, I feel like I had the right to share this with you all. And hopefully you can take what I say. And, and, and really, like, if you care about this sort of stuff, or you care about me in person, or maybe you don't, uh, I really don't care. I'm probably not gonna be around uh, for you guys really care about it. You know, after this, but um, I want you guys to really reflect on this. And I'm sure this has happened with other content creators. But I don't think any other content creators have spoken out in the way that I have. Um, I'm absolutely disgusted by the way it was handled. I'm absolutely disgusted by the community, some of the community, throwing me under the bus. Like, it's it's pathetic. It's sad. It, it, it's, it, it's such a mob mentality. Horcrux bad. Let's hate on Horcrux because we're better. Like, it's, it is what it is. I'm so used to it at this point. Like, inf infamy is but another form of fame. You know what I mean? I like to lead by example. And I think my videos really provide some value to the ESO community. I'm not crap posting like a lot of people, you know, like <laughs> explain aside, you know, just, just try and get their two cents in, you know, clout chasing or whatever. I really wanted this community to be better. And I, I feel that my community is great. My community is freaking phenomenal. But everywhere else, man, I... I feel bad for other content creators, dude. Like, they have such a toxic cesspool of degenerate incels. Like, I feel bad for you guys. Like, uh, I really do. And I see why most people quit this game. Like, the, some of the communities just absolutely suck. My community, on the other hand, you guys are absolutely amazing. Um, I love live streaming to you guys. I love talking to y'all. Y'all have really kept me motivated. And it, it's, it's, it's been a good time. I don't regret a single... Moment I've spent in ESO, I really haven't. If I could do it all over again, I I, I would have <laughs> done it more hastily and, and got to the the root of the problem much uh, much earlier. 
before E is so popular, you know, really died off. And uh, but yeah, that's uh, just wanted to provide some some clarification of some terrible React content. If you're doing React content, uh, you're just you're just washed up, in my opinion. But uh, it is what it is. But um, I hope this video finds you guys well. It's hard telling when I'm going to be banned because I'm obviously painting the devs in a very bad light, and that that is a shame, shame. You're not supposed to do. And if you're questioning the validity validity of this conversation, like I said, it's uploaded as an unlisted or private video on my YouTube channel. And in the event that I do get banned, I'll probably just release it to everyone so you can hear from the horse's mouth yourself how messed up this gaming industry is, especially with Zenimax Bethesda in the Elder Scrolls Online. So if this is my last ESO video, it's been real. It's been fun. It's been real fun. I do have a secondary channel, Horcrux FPS, which if you guys want to follow me on there, I do have a link down in the description. And, you know, as always, guys, a huge and glorious shout out to my YouTube members. You guys are absolutely amazing. I appreciate each and every single one of you.